Okay, so Webflow have just launched what they're calling page templates. Uh, super interesting, and it's not actually obvious straight away what this is going to allow. The article that they've released has a little insight into um, how it works. Then they have a, a little teaser about what this might allow for in the future, which is namely their... Um, page building mode for marketers and clients so super interesting it's there's not really much of an insight into how that's going to work or what restrictions are available if it seems to be related to components anyway i thought i'd dive in and do a quick um, investigation so i've got a very plain site here just a it's kind of my starter kit that i use based off mast and what i'm going to do is if i go into static pages here what we can see is um, what happens is if I say I create a new page here now, so I create a new page. Oh, interestingly, I can now create a static page template. So let's just go and create a normal page to start with. And I'm just going to go through. So what I would normally do here is go, okay, well, it's a plain blank page. So I'd normally go to a kind of a draft page and um, sometimes even just a static page like this and copy in my elements like this so i've got my page wrapper and then i'll put in my custom thing and then i go in i'll have to add let's go and see if i can add my navigation i'll put my navigation in and then i'll go and put my footer in and then inside here oh, i don't want to put that in there then i'd go in and maybe just start Creating my first section, then I go in after. So there's one way of doing it. One one way is to have components um, built out, or you know, if you're using something like Reloom, then you can just copy and paste stuff in. Then great. But what Webflow have allowed now is, instead of doing that, I can set up a starter template, and it's in this template I've got everything set up all ready to go. So I've got my wrapper i've got my nav bar i've got my main which is actually tagged as main i've got my a section in there which is tagged a section with some containers rows and a column which is a nice starter kit and then i've got my footer component as well so that means that when i go into a uh, new page or if i click on this plus here so i'm going to go into new page static template oh no i'm creating a static template here sorry that's wrong Discard chat, that's interesting. What I, I would have thought would be I could choose from a template. That would be actually a lot more useful than creating one here. I could confuse people. Um, what I'm going here is I'm pressing plus, which is create new page from template. I'm selecting my starter template here, and then I go create. And it's just given me a copy, a carbon copy, but which is a new page. And if you look at that, there's lots of things that you can include. So you can include some scripts, you can include you can include custom CSS, you can include all sorts of stuff on this page as a starter. So that's a really useful way to do it. Now, obviously, when you come down to working with clients, you can um, create all sorts of templates, whether it's you know landing page templates or um, I don't know, uh, product page templates, all, all sorts of different things that you know are going to be used again and again. And I've I've actually come across this with, um, with a long-term client of mine, which is that they wanted me to build a set of templated pages that then they would go in and um, create templates, create new pages with different content off the back of that. Now, um, what I would normally do is go in and create a draft and that draft would then be replicated. The trouble with that is it's not necessarily as easy for the um, for the client to understand that. But the other thing is I understand that the, the access to these templates will be made in the, for an editor as well, which means that um, an editor can go in and create a new page and then from there they can fill in the content based on the components that are used so i think that's probably what's going to happen as part of the page builder um page builder developments so that um, webflow are, are kind of hinting at but um yes yeah, it's, it's a welcome welcome development um 
But yeah, I would say if anyone from Webflow is watching it, create a new page, I would say create from a static template would be much more useful for both the design team and for the marketing team. Um, because at the moment, it's a case of creating a new static pe template page kind of it confuses it a little bit. It'd be like create new page or create new page from template would be would be amazing. Um, yeah, there we go. Well done.